Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, just, uh, I was actually uh, kind of winding down my Gems of War session. Um, I didn't stream today. I was too much out of it, um, just from work and stuff. So, but I, what I did go ahead and do is just do, like, a, like, a short session, just enough to do, like, the dailies and maybe a little bit of map farming. Well, it's Vault Weekend, so for those that don't know what that is, let me, uh, let me find it for Oh, that ain't it. Ah, there it is. So, for those that don't know, uh, throughout the weekend, uh, various gnomes are going to start appearing more often in battles. So, and the, the big major goal is to acquire the Noma Palooza. Um, you do that by getting um, one of each band member, uh, Freddy, F Freddy Fret Fiddler, and you got Hoagie Humbucker, which, like I said, I was kind of winding down the session, but um, in one of my last battles, Hoagie Humbucker appeared in, appeared in uh, one of the last ones, so then you got Cindy Savage Lips, and then you got Baz Bone Beater. So, like I said, your, probably your big goal is to get a one from each band member so you can do a Noma Palooza. Which is what's going to happen now is uh, for the next 15 minutes, all the battles are going to be nothing but gnomes. So, and then, um, like usual, I'm going to have some music running in the background. Um, this time around, it's going to be Necromancer Tower, their Totem Tans album. I actually had to Google that. Um, Toten Tans, I think it's German for Dark Dance. So, this is basically, uh, 8-bit metal, or Nintendo metal. So, uh, unless I think I have everything set up properly, so. Let's go get that fired up. Yeah, so I just, I kind of wanted to do a demonstration of how the, uh, Noma Palooza works. And plus, also, I'm going to be working on my blog post fairly soon. So... I find it easier to just make a video like this than to have to try to type down a type down a whole a whole wall of text explaining how a gnome weekend works. So, but here we go, and the timer starts. So, but uh, for gnome weekend. It's quantity over quality. Like, you just want to do a whole bunch of, like, low-level battles. Uh, switching it up a bit. Only when you get really burnt out. Which... Children of the night. What music they... And, um, for every some odd gnomes that you kill, uh, you'll get a bonus bulk. If I remember to later on, I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit later on um, what that what that entails. And then, on some of these battles, too, um, don't be surprised if I bail out of them early. Like, if I can't get Rowane... Like, uh, if I can't get her up and running immediately, the chances are pretty good. I'll probably end up bailing out of the battle and reshuffle or restarting it. You, you don't want to have to cherry pick matches during this during this time period. Because the 15 minute timer, it starts no matter what, or it starts and it starts running no matter what you do. So it doesn't pause.
And if you can see those vault keys that I'm getting, that's another big goal with uh, Vault Weekend. Or Gnome Weekend, I should say. Too sure on this one. Oh. Not when there's only like three or four green jumps on the board. Dragonite out of that one. Uh, five or six greens and no. And same crap here. Luckily, I saw that blue match. Otherwise, it would have been a restart. Same shit here. There we go. We got it. We got it.
got an epic vault key out of that. Keep those vault keys coming. <laughs> Got some raisins out of that. Oh, One stinking crystal room. I saw like four or five green gems on the board, so... Uh, same thing here, I only see about five of them. Kind of a bad call. I probably should have waited till I had as few uh, as few missed stones as possible. I really don't want to be fighting no no difficulty one mythic boss. Yeah, and then there's the time suck. So, come on. So yeah, fucked it up. Poor planning on my part. Got a few souls out of that. sure on this one. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go chase some matches. Uh, Stormheim just got made my home kingdom. Fucking 
game bug. And we got more of the same crap. I only see about five gems or five greenies. Oh, knock it off. Same thing. Got lucky. Children of the night. What a mess. I forgot about this. All right, I guess that's gonna do it. Okay, so but let me bail out of that. Come on. So, I guess I could probably show something. I probably should have shown this um, at the start of the video. But, um, this is the team I use. Um, so, this is, ba this is basically the backup weapon. Uh, damages all enemies with a chance to devour on one of them. Um, mainly the heavy hitter. The one you want to, the one you want to get to... Full mana, uh, scatter damage boosted by my armor, which 70, so 140, 184 total scatter damage. Um, Raji Queen, her her big one is elemental ally start with 50% mana and double clicked. And she's an elemental, so she starts with half mana. Uh, Leprechaun, all-time classic, starts with full mana. I can explode gems. So, but, but you guys probably saw you guys probably saw kind of how it works. But like I said, hey, I forgot to show this at the start of the uh, video. But um, any once again, the big goal of Gnome Weekend is you're looking at right here, killing off gnomes, and you'll start getting a bunch of keys. So seven of them, and then after the weekend's over. You'll be spending them all in here. I only got one so far, but... But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, I got to get this video all prepped up and uploaded to YouTube and still need to get going on my blog post. Got to get that all typed up and posted up. And, and I got to work tonight, so going to have to leave for that here in a few hours. Uh, but... Otherwise, hey, thanks for, uh, drop, or, oh, well, let me rephrase that. This is basically my stream outro, but anyway, uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.